Martin, you'll be sharing your story with us tonight. Yes. So you had a very private and intimate type of situation with your wife. That's right. How long were you married with, to your wife? Uh, by then we had been married for 10 years. And to date, how, how long have you been married for? 12 years now. 12 years now. Yes. So what happened, Martin? Uh, during this time, our 10 years of marriage had uh, a lot of ups and downs. And uh, during this period, I have uh, three beautiful daughters. The eldest is uh, 11 years old now. So my wife could leave our matrimonial home. Bila hata kuniambia shida iko wapi. I come work from I come back from work I just find the whole house empty. Amebeba kila kitu ameenda. Yeah, na watoto. Sasa mimi niko hapo najiuliza kwani what could I have done wrong? So anytime she leaves our home I could look for where she is alafu tena namrudisha kwa nyumba nikimpata and again all my three daughters were born through cs and they were never breastfed so i kept on asking myself why aren't they being breastfed kwa nini hawanyonyeshwi so one day the doctor told me two things that uh, either my wife is uh, hiding her medical condition maybe she is sick ama ataki matiti zinyaoke vitu kama hizo one night she decided that she's going anaenda out na marafiki wake so nikamuuliza wewe kila weekend ikifika ni trouble you want to go out and you are a married lady nini all those things kaambia leo tunaenda na wewe we have to go with you nataka kuonao marafiki wako because i don't know any of your friends and when you go sometimes you sleep outside akaleta Vita, lakini we are going with you. So I went and made sure that uyu na uyu na uyu ndiyako, ako now. Then I told those people that I'm giving her 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, ni kuje, ni mpate tu hapa, na mimi diyo nitamudisha wapi? Kwa nyumba. Kwa nyumba. So after 15 minutes, she came back to the house. Akanambia Martin, there is something I want to tell you tonight. Then she told me that it's, it's a secret she's kept from me for 10 good years. Na amewai, ajawai ambi hata mtu yote. Mpia nikasema ni sawa. I prepared supper for my children. Wakaenda wakalala. So nikaka hapo karibu na, na mlangu. Kwanza ka, the first a secret she revealed was her life in Mombasa. That was the time she was introduced to, to drugs. So she could take the drugs, sell them, cocaine, heroin, all kinds of those things. So alikuwa in a relationship na mzungu. Uyo mzungu ilibidi amwache when these drugs now took a toll on her. She could not manage it anymore. She became an addict. Yeah, an addict. So I can that, that is what had been troubling her. Because effect is The drugs. The drugs. Because sometimes that an apasua my glasses, nini. As if that was not enough. I can for all these 10 years, we've been living as discordant couples. Discordant couple meaning? She's uh, HIV positive and HIV negative. And that was why all our daughters were born through CS. That was why she never breastfed Your our children. daughters. And any time she could think of infecting me, and I ended to an and Maisha. Next question I asked her, how about my children? Because I wanted to know Kama watoto pia wako infected as infected. well. Akaniambia she took all the precautions the doctor told her and that all our daughters are negative. By this time she was revealing this to me. Kumbia pia alikuwa mameka kisu. Karibu na mlangu hapa. Wakati nilisimama naenda kum, kumhag. Hei alikuwa naona ni kama nimeenda ku kumwatak 
na hiyo kisu vile alishika hivi kisu ilifanya nini kaanguka ilianguka tu chini so her intention was to stab you with that knife yes and then she finishes herself and that was it what about the children the children were asleep very much asleep so we just held our hands we cried we cried we cried the following morning i went to go i went to confirm my status again akaniambia martin there were some three months ile sasa wakati alienda ya mwisho the sixth time aliacha kutumia madawa zake so anasema anaona ni kama wakati huo ali she infected so, yeah. then i just said let me just go and reconfirm my status and when i went to the first hospital wakafanya hiyo test wakaniambia i'm infected and it's a recent infection hiyo baada i kutosha i went to to another to another hospital pia wakafanya hivyo wakaniambia same thing the same thing it's positive yes so nilishindwa hata vile nitarudi nyumbani she could try to call me na nakata kushika simu so kurudi nikakaa hapo karibu na barabara hata nilikuwa nataka nijirushe tu kwa nini gari nikanyage then i met a lady whom we fellowship with her the same church kanibia martin you look different nikamwambia then she called somebody akani escort nyumbani by this time by wife she was ready for again anything alikuwa na watu huyo jamaa vile ashiki simu nikubaya akatoa watoto kwa nyumba wote akabaki kwa nyumba peke yake sasa sasa mimi nikurudi nikamwambia you been infected me nikaanza kulia nikamwambia it's okay now you will no longer hide those drugs we will take them together we will support each other and we'll try to to rebuild this family by forgiving me so you yeah. forgave her i honestly forgave her and since then my life has changed our life has changed are you happy and, as and a i'm couple? glad to to even report that uh, nowadays even when i go to the hospital i'm given what's called express and my viral load is completely suppressed completely suppressed are you still with your wife today sorry are you still married to your wife today are you still We're together hap- very happily married very happily married and we are doing very well better than even before 